So yesterday, I didn't have anything on my list really to do. I had one thing to do, and then I decided I wasn't gonna do it. I usually keep a list a couple of days out of the things I need to do um, or that I want to do. You know, it might be, you know, wash clothes, or it might be fixed tire, or it might be go see such and such. And I really just had the one thing yesterday and just didn't feel like doing it. So I went down to that park that I've been going to for the um, jet skis. So I pull my truck up and I park, and I usually park out of the way. And um, so I was sitting there getting my you know, battery and everything in my drone and all, it's getting ready to fly. And uh, so a guy pulls up behind me in a truck and stops. I was like, I wonder what, what that's all about. So um, I hopped out of the truck and you know had my camera on <laughs> and I walked over there and um, uh, as it turns out, he had a flat tire. He had two flat tires. He had, well, he was changing the front flat tire and then he had a, a rear flat as well, or it was going flat. So I asked him the usual, he had a jet ski on the back of the truck and I asked him the usual question I've been asking lately. And that is, um, you know, how much did you pay for it? Cause I'd love to have one. And he said, well, this one was about $5,000. This isn't really a great one. It doesn't go that fast. And I was like, well, have you ever considered having anyone, you know, videotape you from above using a drone while you were on the jet ski and then just giving you that footage? He said, well, um, the jet ski I've got with me is not really a fast one. And, you know, I'm just using it for practice. Uh, so there wouldn't be too much going on today. And my thought was, you have more than one jet ski? I mean, the way he talked, it was as if he had three. So um, I was like, okay, well, you know, I said I, I didn't really have too much going on today, so I just figured I would, um, you know, kill some time and everything. He said, well, if you really want to dump somebody, go over there to that uh, black truck. He said, they, they really go fast. You know, they're the speed racers around here. I was like, okay, I'll do that. So I go over to the black truck and uh, talk to the guy that was uh, putting his, um, his jet ski into the water. Now this guy told me it was about $25,000. I could not believe it. Like who would spend $25,000 on a jet ski? But I guess if you got the 25,000, <laughs> you know, it's nothing. But um, so, you know, I asked him the same question, you know, have you ever thought about anyone taping you from the air? Um, because, you know, it'd just be something fun to do. And I was just wasting some time. And he was like, well, you really shouldn't tape me. You should tape my son. He's the one that goes really fast. And I was like, your son? And then he pointed and I looked over to my left and there was his not a day more than 12 year old son, little skinny blonde boy. And I said, he's the one that goes fast. Do you want me to tape him? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, do you want me to tape you? He's like, yeah, I can put it on my Instagram. So I'm thinking to myself, would I want my 12 year old, you know, speeding around on a jet ski? I mean, kind of a little bit dangerous, but I don't judge. So I was like, well, okay, I can do that. So, um, you know, he took off and, you know, I launched the drone and I did some, some recording and, um, it was very challenging. We'll put it that way. It was a little bit more challenging than I had anticipated. So as you can see, when somebody's uh, moving that fast, uh, it's really kind of hard to to tape them. So you know, I told them, I said, "Well, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna text you a link to download the files, 
you can look at them. If it's anything you can use, you know, of course use it. Um, I just hope I filmed the right person and uh, I hope it's something you can use. And um, so they were like, okay, well, thank you. And um, so I, I did that, I uploaded the files last night and sent the, the dad a text. Um, I never heard back from them. They didn't say we got it or we downloaded it or it turned out okay or I was in it or I wasn't in it or thanks or anything. I just never heard back from them. So I don't know, I mean, I'm hoping it turned out um, I hope I didn't tape the wrong people. That's, that's the only thing because I would be, feel really foolish. But think about it. These people are in body suits and these people are in helmets. It's really hard to tell. And all the jet skis look kind of alike. Um, they're kind of dark. And then when the sun is that bright, it's really actually pretty hard to tell. If there was just uh, maybe one or two people out there, it wouldn't be a problem. But there were several people out there on the water that day. And so um, I wound up feeling, they have two, it was the dad and the son, and they were both riding together. So, um, so hopefully I got them both, but you know, who knows. So after I got done with that, I uh, was in the downtown area and I, I noticed there was a, you know, there's the sidewalk and then there's this little wall, retaining wall, the side of it. And there was this really long painted mural on there. Coyote 2008. I'm going to guess this was painted in 2008. Follow Highway 66, Lake Havasu City for better living. Fun under the first arch. I guess they put together the arches one at a time. Lake Havasu Squares. London Bridge, October 10th, 1971. I'm gonna guess that's when they completed it. Family fun on Lake Havasu anytime. London Bridge is going up 1970. London Bridge, uh, Granite Stone Storage Compound. McCullough. I've seen McCullough chainsaws before. McCullough Aviation, chainsaw, I guess McCullough Empire. 1964, that was a good year. Um, flights over Nautical Inn. Surveying Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Got a red arm. 1942 pilot training T6 Texan over Site 6 R&R Barracks. Whatever that means. Parker Dam creates Lake Havasu 1938. That's what I thought. I knew the dam created the lake, which then uh, created the city. Um, but I wasn't sure if it was Parker Dam or not. I've driven over that dam. When you drive over it, you're in California. First military steamboat launched Yuma, 1857, long time ago. Early military exploration, early 1800s. It looks like the rest is just Southwest type of paintings. Nice though. As you can see, it really just, it sort of tells uh, a lot of the history about the city. I actually went on Wikipedia and uh, looked up the city and how it came about. And so that mural really does uh, tell a lot of the story. I won't tell you the whole story. You can look it up yourself, but how the city, you know, came to be. So where I am camped, um, if you were to look out my window, you'd see two really tall mountains. And at the top of one of the mountains, the very, very top is a cactus. I don't know the type of cactus. I don't know if it's called a Seguro cactus or not, but it's so high up, it looks really tiny, but it's a normal size cactus. And every time I come out of the trailer, you know, I look up and I see this cactus and I think, wow, I wonder what that looks like up close, you know, cause you could never get to it. I mean, it would be, I mean, it would be a climb, but I don't even know that you could really 
reach it that easily, you know. So I thought um, that you and I would take a look at it together and that would uh, be a good end to this video. So um, hope you enjoy it. Take care.